Good evening. We learned a new term this year. You might have heard it. Some people were trotting out Gray Thursday to describe the stores that were open on Thanksgiving Day to get a jump on the shopping season that normally begins with Black Friday today and tonight all across this country. While the gray was meant to signify a kind of retailing gray area, the black in Black Friday, of course, means in the black. Positive sales to start off the season. There was a time when this day every year was not synonymous with injuries, trampling incidents, and riots. But it has happened again as Americans get all worked up into a shopping frenzy. We begin tonight with Courtney Reagan of CNBC. She's at the mall at Fairfield in Dayton, Ohio. Courtney, good evening. Good evening to you, Brian. Today marks the unofficial start to the holiday shopping season, and it's going to be one of the longest compared to the past several years. With Thanksgiving falling so early, there are two extra days between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and retailers are hoping consumers use the extra time to shop and spend. After that big Thanksgiving meal, this is how shoppers got their exercise. Racing down the aisles for early Black Friday deals. Oh, it saves a lot of money. I don't know what else I can do some damage with, but I'm going to go find out. Braving the lines, the crowds, the fight to the cash registers. At this Victoria's Secret in Kansas, girls screamed for the gate to open as if they were at a rock concert. The frenzy started early this year with retailers like Walmart, Toys R Us, and Target opening their doors at 8 p.m. Thanksgiving Day, hoping to get the 147 million shoppers spending before they go elsewhere. The decision to start Black Friday deals early sparked a controversy with Target employees posting online petitions against working the holiday. And Walmart workers protesting this week at dozens of stores as part of a nationwide walkout. We are unstoppable. Walmart released a statement calling the protests made for TV events and saying the large majority of protesters aren't even Walmart workers. The stakes are especially high because Black Friday kicks off the most important shopping season of the year. On average, we estimate that Black Friday weekend sales can account for up to 10 to 11 percent of overall holiday sales. It's typically when the bulk of their profits are earned. Sales are expected to grow a little over 4 percent this year, slightly below last year's 5.6 percent. Online sales are expected to stay strong, jumping 12 percent from last year. Stores have been taking advantage of the public's web savvy by offering mobile apps and online promotions that lure shoppers in the store. Early signs show that sales are strong. We had the best Black Friday ever at Walmart. With shoppers snatching up electronics, toys, and some unexpected items. Last night, Walmart sold more than 1.8 million towels. Whatever they're buying, retailers just hope shoppers keep coming back until Christmas Day. Consumer confidence has been improving over the last several months, and economists hope that will translate into strong holiday sales. Consumer spending makes up 70 percent of U.S. GDP, so strong holiday sales are crucial for economic growth in the fourth quarter. Brian? Courtney Reagan, busy night in Dayton, Ohio. Courtney, thanks.